China, France, India, North Korea, Russia, United Kingdom, United States, Pakistan, Israel. The new record is really about the proliferation of uh, nuclear weapons in the world and the direction that it's been going. I think that the new record is really about me shedding light on how I feel about it and what I feel about the, uh, the world that we're existing in under the shadows of the nuclear threat. Um, I'm an activist and proud to be and uh, uh, you know I actually want to get my fingers dirty and get into this and say come on it's, this isn't this isn't about um, us being against each other we we share one thing we might have 24,000 nuclear weapons but we have one planet right, and we're, right. we're all here to live on this one planet and as long as there's one nuclear uh, weapon that somebody is unsafe one of our brothers and sisters is unsafe. With 24,000, we're, you know, we're all really unsafe. The Hopi and the Iroquois and other peoples have these stories, and they tell of how humans at one point harnessed the power of the sun. And when they did this, they did it for evil rather than good. No one wants their city to be exploded. You know what I mean? Most of the people don't want nuclear weapons. They just don't want to be exploded themselves. And then the people are told, well, the way that you don't get exploded yourself is to make sure that you can explode other people, you know. I think we're in danger. I'm so worried. We're in danger. The real question is, do humans have the, uh, the sort of, the engineering built within themselves to completely decimate themselves? And extinct, and extinct themselves. Every opportunity when you see a staggering number like that for us to come together in the greater community and to say, look, we're brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers and daughters and sons, and it's time for us to come together and to really say this is unacceptable. We are the caretakers of Mother Earth, and what's the point of blowing it up? Because you blow us up as, as well, you're going to blow up the whole idea of, you know, life on, on this planet and the universe, it's not going to happen. Really the concept of prayer is uh, what we turn to when we really don't know what else to do. Music has the ability to play on the strings of the heart. The heart then can, uh, can overwhelm what your mind is telling you. Mm -hmm. And then once your mind is changed, then you can change your outer reality and your world, whether on a personal level or collective level. With the music and the sacredness of music, the gift of music uh, for the Iroquois is something that um, is powerful, it's healing, something that is, is at the opening and the ending of every single ceremony and celebration of life. The, the point being, while there's one nuclear weapon on the planet, we're not safe. Somebody's not safe. You know, Sting wrote a wonderful song once called I, um, uh, Russians right, and it's sort of, of like it's looking at us all really as uh, parents and saying well for the love of our children we couldn't let this happen.